Hi guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Um, I'm out here boondocking out on the Salton Sea, enjoying ourselves. I decided to solve a little problem I had with the the WineGuard Connect Wi-Fi antenna system I installed. You can see the three antennas up there on the roof. Anyway, when I got that, I was a little disappointed that it didn't run on 12 volts. Um, you know, it would be ideal for for dry camping, if you want to get onto any Wi-Fi systems, you wouldn't have to use your inverter, which can waste power when you're uh, transitioning the power from AC back to DC and DC to AC. Um, so anyway, this is how I solved it. This is a little uh, wall adapter that came with the the Connect, and you can see it. I don't know if I can get close enough here. Anyways, its output is 24 volts. DC 1.5 amps. So I had to do something about that and to solve it I used, let's go over here, what's called a DC to DC converter. And that's what this little device is. What this device does is it takes 12 volts from your battery power and the magic electronics inside spits out 24 volts and that'll be a the proper voltage to run the, the Wi-Fi connect. Um, this little thing I got off Amazon and what it is is it's totally waterproof. Um, the 24 volt output is regulated and also on the input voltage um, it's regulated. It, it, can, it can handle anywhere between 8 to 18 volts and still put out 24 volts so that's good in case the batteries sag a bit or I'm charging the batteries or equalizing the batteries and I get the voltage up over 15 volts it won't ruin anything. Um, so I've mounted it in the fridge compartment here you can see that's where my Dometic fridge lives and just screwed it onto the wood paneling here right there and also I decided I wanted to be able to turn it on and off you know I could unplug it from the the, the connect box itself but I thought it would be nice to put a little switch in there and that cuts the 12 volt power to it so when I'm not using it I'm not losing any power that way so I needed a 12 volt source for it and handy enough was this is where the 12 volt for the refrigerator comes in this white line over here and I looked and it's it's fused at 15 amps um, but it the fridge only uses anywhere from 3 to 5 amps so there's lots of overhead there for me to to suck an amp and a half off of there without any problems and because it's fused I didn't need to fuse anything and this thing also has under voltage protection over voltage protection and short circuit protection so I didn't need to fuse its output as well so from the output it runs through this red and black wire and it goes up the fridge stack and We'll go inside and I'll show you where it pops through and connects into the wine, the wine guard connect. Which, uh, if you're following my videos, I did that install a few weeks ago and, and ran the wires down my fridge vents, so con it was convenient. I had the the hole for it already drilled. Okay, so just above the fridge there is where the the wine guard is installed. Let's pull that off. Look up there. There you can see where I spliced in. I put the connector onto those uh, red and black wires and spliced them in. And we got the lights flashing there, so we're good to go. Cool. I think that's going to work out really well. Um, the switch there, I just took a bunch of clear silicone, made a big blob around it, and stuck it down. It's enough to keep it in place there. Let's give you a backside view of the, the little uh, DC to DC converter. And you can see there's wires all marked negative and positive, so all you have to do is get the polarity right. Um, and also it's got a 3 amp output <clears throat> that's regulated. So uh, the, the Weingart Connect draws a 1.5 amp, so that should be fine. Um, the connections I soldered, I didn't have any shrink tubing, so I had to go with electrical tape, but I'll probably clean that up in the future. Once I get to a place I can get the right size shrink tubing for that. Clean that all up. But it's going to be handy. One one application I want to do is when we're driving the truck, 
I can have this on so you know if we hit a parking lot like in a casino or Walmart I can just in the truck we can get online through the Wi-Fi that's cool anyway I hope you like that little tip if you run into a problem where you want to uh, change DC voltages rather than wasting a lot of uh, power on the with your inverter turning it on you can put in one of these little uh, DC to DC converters hey Angie yeah do that so back to relaxation thanks for watching Cheers.